And good day, welcome to the ASA channel where we review some of the stuff that is on sale from us. Uh, and yeah, let's just jump right in. Today we will be having a look at a very nice and unique product and it is none other than the Able R50. Now the Able R50, as you can see on the box, is a digital repeater. I don't know how many of you people know exactly what a digital repeater is but I will attempt to explain it as we go along and maybe see if we can do a test. Okay, let's have a look. Comes in a standard box, um, fairly big box. Um, this specific unit does 400 to 470. So it does the whole UHF split. And let's see what do we find inside the box. Inside the box we see that we have the repeater. very nice looking unit you can have a look at that more in detail this now we have a power cable and then of course a programming cable I am not going to be looking at the programming cable now and obviously it has a bracket for a wall mount so I assume that you would mount that against the wall and the repeater simply slides in from this side And then they also have given us some few screws and a few fisher plugs. Okay, let's have a look and see what the repeater actually looks like. Okay, it has a nice carry strap on it, so you can you can carry it around for easy deployment. Um, it says on the top, Able DMR Digital Repeater R5020. I'm not sure what the difference between the 50 and the others are. 400 to 470. This is a 100 to 240 volt uh, AC repeater. And this specific model does not have a DC input. I did question them about that. Why make something that's portable um, if there is no DC input? Um, but I doubt that they understood what I wanted to ask. Nevertheless, apparently there is a modification that we can do and the later models will be available with exactly that. Um, they will have a DC input. Okay, so I think without any further ado, let's have a look and see. Um, it comes with a decent three pin plug and I'm just going to put a, a dummy load on here and give it some power and then put it there and yeah power it up I think this will okay this is set to low power and I do have a radio here pre-programmed on this frequency um, which we can just see what the display does so you can see how it works when you key it up it says let me just bring it closer for you to see Transmit light, receive light, it tells you that it's receiving on slot 1 and transmitting on slot 2. So it is digital relaying, it is set to low power and yeah, um, I'm not sure what else these buttons actually do, if they are programmed or not. Um, we have done some tests on these. And... I see there are some settings in, in there. Um, obviously not programmed. Okay, so basically just a short video to show you what the device looks like. Um, it is basically a 
type of repeater that will transmit between the divisions in DMR. So between the first slot and the second slot, if you like. Um, and that's, in essence, how this device works. Uh, we have tested it extensively. Um, I loaned it to one of my customers and they was very, very, very happy. Even on low power, it exceeded all the normal communications. We have also tested uh, this versus a normal analog repeater and was astounded to see that the digital uh, relaying was actually much better. Um, that's it. I can maybe just do a short little description on uh, how the DMR SFR actually works. Uh, so in short, you just need a single frequency and it'll make use of a single frequency to repeat. Yes, you need a digital radio. So between two digital radios, you will be able to repeat on a single frequency. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, like and review.